Hello, everyone. I'm Cincinnati Man here. I'm back with my sister. Hi. <laughs> uh, we are here to talk about a movie from 1960 by Alfred Hitchcock. Hitchcock? Psycho. And what I don't like is the fact that we're doing this in October. Really? I ain't even, I ain't even a scary yeah. movie person. Like I, I love like, scary movies. Like, I'll watch them. But I'm not running around like, it's that time of the year. Uh, you know, whatever, you know. Halloween is actually like my favorite holiday. <laughs> anyway, how old were you when you saw this movie? Like 13, 14. And I've never seen this movie. Yes. Hmm. In its entirety. I mean, I know about the major scene in it. Mm-hmm. Like the two to two major things, but I kind of forget. Mm-hmm. And there was way too much nudity in this movie. They weren't nude. There was way too much. How dare they show a woman in her bra? I was like, I'm not. You're not gonna call it order. Like I'm like, yo, jump wait it. a minute. I'm like, uh, look, look, we saw all the waterfront, rebel out of cause. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, Invitation to Life. Yeah. This is most new to see the 1960. That's where it started. That's when we now, now we got now we got uh, uh sexy red and 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 all that going on now. See, look, see, this is what happens. They saw it back then, they told us they was like, don't let Alfred Hitchcock show women in bras and panties. Now we got this. Now yeah. we got only now we got OnlyFans. I'm blaming Alfred. I don't know how they got that past the censors in the 1960s. I think it was like a trade-off. Something else. I think he showed him that and not the showers. I saw something where Quentin Tarantino was on the podcast and he's saying that he was not the biggest fan. He he respects what he Alfred Hitchcock did, but he's not the biggest fan. But he get it because of the era that he lived in. Mm-hmm. He's like, I didn't like I'm he's like I, the third act's the best part of it, but there's stuff in it. But he was like he would do stuff to get he would do stuff to get past the censors. Yeah, he would. I'm a huge Alfred Hitchcock fan. Um but there are things about him that I did not like. Like he basically Harvey, Harvey Weinstein. Um, hey, look! His late the hey, lady. Look, man, look, man, look, look. The lady in the birds. He was like obsessed with. Her. Wait, 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 wait! Don't tell me. Don't look. Is there any of these movies that we're gonna watch eventually later, or because I don't want you to ruin anything for we me? Can watch it all. Um, no. I told I mean, you, I'm a huge Alfred Hitchcock fan. I I watch his um show that comes on. I mean. That used to come on. It um comes on like me TV or something like that, but I love it. Um Okay, so I'm going off of memory. Um it opens up the movie op- the movie opened up, you know, they making out. I'm like, why is she in her bra and panties? This is 1960. And it was in black and white, which I was surprised. Yeah. And oh, but even before that, the music, the yeah, music. The- and title the animation part. of the title, mm-hmm. the title thing. The, I was like, okay. And then it kept going. And then that music kept on being menacing. I got tired of it. I was like, dang, can we get... Like, the the the, the beginning of it was... The, the title, whatever it's called, was so long. Mm-hmm. I was like, can you start the movie? It's long like that in um, like, East of Eden, too. Like, dang. And then, and then it was like... <laughs> I can't even do this. I, I love this song. No, it makes me think of uh, Busta Rhymes. Bust, yeah, yeah, that's I why I like it, it from there. Yeah, that's why I like. I want to. I want to look at the producer. What producer was like? Yeah, I'm putting that. Yeah. Weird so, to think of. so then they show them making out and stuff on the bed. Sam and uh, Marion. At first, I thought they were cheating. He he was divorced, and she. Yeah, you know. and he felt like a loser because he had to pay alimony, and, mm-hmm. and he was he he was poor poor. But I got confused. Cause I thought I thought it was like I thought she was married or something. Cause the way they was like, "We're just meeting." No, you know it's frowned upon for if divorce not, people. Oh, to, and, and, and you know it's funny. And man. they're not married. And, so, and it's know. sad. It's sad because it's like even back in 1960s you had sneaky links. Even yeah. back in the 1960s you had situationships. People had like situationships. Are now they were back then. She was like, "I ain't seen none of your friends. You ain't seen none of this." Well, she didn't say that, but you know, she, I mean. all she wanted was like to have a respectable dinner mm, with her sister. My sister stuff. Meet my sister. And at first, I, I thought he was gonna be garbage. Like, <laughs> nah. He but said then, okay, and then he was like, okay, okay, darling, we'll do it. But like, he did say that line about turning their mom's picture. picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, we got to get freaky. Let me turn the picture around. I was like, yeah. Hey, I was like, dang, dog. 
I was like, I was like, yo, homie. Like, that line always cracks yeah, me up. Yeah, I was like, what are you do? Like, hey, bruh. Like, so she leaves and she goes, she goes to the. She goes back to work. Because I think she a, was on her lunch break. It was weird, though. That, like, it was like, it was like, y'all had a bank. It didn't look like a bank. That look, wasn't a bank. Yeah, it was. No. She that was like, I don't know what it was. It but a it was a realtor? I think so. Hey, yeah. let's, wait, hold on. Because remember, that he had to take the money to the bank. Oh yeah, but take- yeah, was it? I, was is it a realtor? I I don't know. I never. I don't think that it's, they say what it is. But did you know that the lady that worked in the office with it her returns? To, it, all it says on Wikipedia is returns to work, steals money. <laughs> the lady that worked in the office with her is Alfred Hitchcock's daughter. You know, the now one that you was, say that, now that you say that, you can kind of see it. Mm-hmm, the one I was talking about taking yeah, she's tranquilizers. She, she's, she's, <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. Let's get back. Wait, let's get back. Let's get back. Let's, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. She sits down and she talks with her. Yeah. And she tells her all the list of people that it's funny. There's no cell phones done back then. Then so she writes it down and memorizes. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, these people call your sister. Going to be out of town. This person did. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. She's like, I, I got a headache. She was like, oh, you want? Like, yeah, aspirin. I take tranquilizer. I'm like, tranquilizer. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what uh I think it's for energy though. Um I keep on getting ashes in it. Um you ever see look, I want uh look, look, I, I think I'm gonna do like dead. You know, you know there's a Rolling Stone song <laughs> uh called Mother's Little Helper. If I think it was I think it was like meth or something, like women would take it to their tire and they would take a little uh... mother's little it's called Mother's Little Helper. And you would take it, I can't remember I can't remember if it was upper or downer, but it was something to help to help the mother. I know in like the 1800s, they used to prescribe, I think, Coke or something. Uh, I'm taking a time machine. Anyway. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> anyway. Uh, so so then uh, Jerry Jones walks in <laughs> with his eight gallon, his 10 gallon hat. Like, hey, girl, you know, you know, the prettiest woman. She's getting married. You know, pretty. His oh. daughter's getting married. And then, and then she, and then I ain't going to lie, she was. Marion was acting like a jerk to him. I don't see it that way. She, that has always I always think about that movie when like people are bragging or something like that. How she wasn't really paying attention. Like I, I don't know why, but that's in words of fifty. I'm gonna show you how to stunt. That's always in the back of my mind when people are like bragging. I'm just like, don't stunt. even. Shoot, he walked up in there. He walked up in there like, look, like, look. He's he talk, was doing too much. He's talking about how beautiful and wonderful things was. He was like, not you. He was like, I'm not talking about beautiful. You know, my daughter. Here's a picture of my daughter. She getting married. And she was like, she was like, okay. It was like, yeah, Then he her. talked about buying happiness or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, she he like, was she, doing she, too she much. Like, she ain't never had a bad day. She never had a bad day in her life. You know why? Because I paid it off or some stuff like mm-hmm. that. He's like, you ever had a bad day? She was like, not in particular. But she was having a bad, she had a bad attitude. That's what made, she look. I didn't think she had an attitude. She had, She's at work. She, she, she don't want tootie. him in his she face. She was tootie. He was she doing, was all attitude he was doing too much. Don't hey, sit on my hey, desk. Like, all come I'm gonna on. say is this: I agree with I agree with you. I'm just playing. Mm-hmm. But I was sitting there like she had a steak attitude, and she could have been like, "No, thank you, sir." She's just like, "Uh huh." Hey, so, she was answering his questions. So anyway, then he hits. Then he then he pulls the money out. I was like, "I'm gonna buy her a house, forty thousand dollars." And she didn't react like, at I was all. Like a house, you could buy. You could even buy a plot of land for forty thousand dollars today. Good luck. Good luck. And then he tries to hand it to the, the realtor, whatever he is. And he was like, oh. I don't want him one in the he, building. He saw it. He was like, nah. And dude was like, yeah, the reason why I pay cash is so I don't have to report anything. Mm-hmm. So he said that. Dude, dude was like, uh, take the money to the bank. I'll make him make a check. He said, I don't even I, want it in the office. Right. He was like, we ain't doing this. He he, hey, he know them boys. Mm-hmm. He don't know. Hey, he didn't want them problems. He didn't want them problems. And then. Well, what, what what didn't make no sense to me was she got up and left. She she and she walked back, it was, she walked back up in there and was like, "Hey, okay." Uh, she talked to him for a second. She said, "Um, she's gonna take the money to the bank, but she's can she early, not? Yeah. yeah, can she not come back because she had a headache?" But what killed me was, oh yeah, uh, Jay Jones talking. Hell, he was like, he's talking about yeah, he drinks in his office, talking about the bad yeah, today. but putting his and, business. Up. Hey, guess what? They were drinking because when he walked yeah. in, they had two glasses. Yeah. And what tripped me out was you go to the scene and she's changing the clothes, getting ready to go somewhere. And I was looking at the money, the envelope. I was like, you're going to take the money to the bank, right? Mm-hmm. I kept staring like, 
She ain't gonna do what I think she gonna Cause do. Cause she, if she would have did that, she would have did the. She would have went to the bank first and then went home. I just couldn't. That's look, how I knew I, something was up. I did not. You know what's great about the movie? Mm-hmm. Nobody expected that. Cause you just thought, yeah. okay, and then she just stole it, and you're mm-hmm. like, you're a psycho. You had a good job, and then she's driving. We don't know what she was making. Nah, I'm playing. And then she was driving. And she pulls over her sleep. I get no, she was driving, and then uh, her boss walked past. Remember oh, that? Yeah, before and he did. looked, he was like, because he smiled at him at first. Then he kept yeah. looking like, wait a minute, yeah. And oh, I saw after his, I saw after he got put himself in, in the beginning. Of yeah, the he does it in all his movies. He's like Stanley, so you gotta look and find him. It's like within the first like minute, you'll see him. Like in one movie, he's like walking dogs or something. Like That's that. right. I'm gonna start making movies. I'm gonna do that too. I said I'm making movies. I too. always try to find him like. Well, with the movies I haven't seen. So, fast forward. Okay, has, she's like, driving. She, yeah. she drove past him, but he kind of looked like puzzled, and she's yeah, because like, he was, they, he was in at, a crosswalk. She was smiling at first, and she realized like she got like, oh. yeah. And then she sleeps, and then the, off, the officer was creepy. He was. It reminded me when we got stopped when we was. In the <laughs> officer didn't do nothing wrong. You were no, not the look the of it, the look of it. His, no, he had the sunglasses. And yeah, the but but he was a lot more friendly. Yeah, but it just. Shout, shout out to me. that officer in Tennessee. When we went to Whatever. the Beyonce concert, uh, stopped look, me when I was driving. Look, he stopped us because she was driving, and the Enterprise gave us a vehicle that had expired tags. But when I looked, there were no tags. It was like no written on the the plate. Well, so well I don't maybe, know. maybe they do it differently for rentals. Yeah, I don't know. But he said it wasn't our fault. But you know, some people had to act like Marion in, in in the in the uh, at their job. He, is there a problem? No, nah, I was it, anxious. Hey, we when were the on cop like asked if there was a problem. I, I wanted to bend. I wanted to look over and be like, "Yes, it's, it's her. It's her." I said no. <laughs> I, I answered his hey, questions. You, hey, hey, it, it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said no. You try to you try to have you you try to have me hemmed up like uh, like the Wayne brothers that don't drink your juice. I answer his questions. I didn't do that. I he asked me a question. I answered it. I gave him my license, and he went on about his business. I was anxious because it, I had to make. True. I had to get over on a four lane highway. Like, that's what happens sometimes. See that? That's life. That's like, see, look, I was cooler than a polar bear toenail. Shout out to Outcast. Cooler than a polar bear's toenail. Oh hell, there he goes again. Anyway, back to what we're back. Okay, so so the officer was like literally in the car, like in this. the car. Cause she had fell asleep on and, the side and, of the road. And, he, and when she went to go, and when she went to go get her 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 license stuff, he was still mm-hmm. in the in the window. I'm like, yo, yeah. And that camera was on him tight. And then she showed all the information, and they start driving. And he's behind her. And he's behind her. Remember, like, and she gets she just goes to the car. She like, goes off the exit. And yeah. she, she looks. She's the guiltiest person in the world. That's what I was gonna say. She did everything to get, to get searched. To bring attention to herself. And he still was like, mm. he followed her all the way to that car dealership, parked across the street, and watched her. Why are you, why are you getting a new car? Like right then and there. Right then and there. You know, I don't know if she saw him, but she had to see him. They I were need, getting off I the need exit. somebody to give. Look, I'm gonna look it up. Now I'm not gonna put it in the video, but the look, dollar amount. Y'all need to look up the 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 how much her car was worth. Dude was like, I give you, like, you want a new car? Give me your car and $700. And $700. I was like, man, I, I need your time machine. And then she she was even more sp- suspicious because she's pulled out the $700 cash. Like, n- most people didn't have $700 like that in that back then. I'm going to teach you how to stunt. Stunt one on one. Anyway. Um, dang, I keep getting that. That's my fault. Anyway. Uh, so, so they, she drives off. It's raining. No, no. The montage of, of thinking. I thought she was thinking about all the people she saying was. about her. She was. But I think that was, was it or was it really happening? I think she was thinking. Because when I first saw it and for years, I thought that that's what they were saying. But I read something where they said that that's what she was thinking. And it made more sense. But, I mean, it could be either way. And then she pulled up to the, the hotel. The and it was raining. And... and you saw that first scene of his mama walking across the across mm-hmm. the window. Yep. And what I laughed at it when she honked the horn, I was like, "How she know that like, anybody's that, that people live yeah. there run that? Maybe right. they just live back there 
And she was loud. Why does Norman Bates look like Andrew Garfield? The don't actor. Say that. Don't ruin that for yep. me. Yep. You, you know what? You nobody's ever saw that? Nobody ever know no, nobody ever brought that up to him. And he's goofy like I him. I like Andrew. Andrew don't Garfield do that. is Norman Bates. Don't do that. I mean he yeah, could play. He welcome. could play him. And 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 they she signs in and everything and under a different name. Well, yeah, and no, wait a minute, no, no, no. She signed under her real name. I thought no, wait, 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 wait. She signed Marion Summers. Or no, something like Loomis, that? I think. Because I think she her... she took Sam, her boyfriend's last name. Marion, okay. Because her her name her last name was gave, Crane, but then she ended up giving Crane. Late, late, look to him later. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so she signs in or whatever, and Norman just, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, creepy. Just, just, no, no, he wasn't creepy yet. Well, he got creepy when after she signed in and showed her where, where she's staying and everything. Mm-hmm. When he was like, you want to have dinner? That got creepy. It was like, yo, you don't even know. Like that, because it was just so like zero to 100. You want to have, have dinner with me? And and even before that, when she was, he was showing all the taxidermy, all our stuff, birds and everything. Mm. That was okay. That was creepy. Yeah, yeah. that was creepy. Uh, his whole demeanor it was it was halfway wholesome. Then it got to a point where you're like, okay, this is getting odd. Yeah. And remember when she said she like remember at, remember when he le- when he left and said I'll come back and get you. Why well, she said yes to dinner anyway? I know she's trying to be nice. I guess she was trying to be nice. You know what? She said she wasn't hungry, so I don't know. Hey, why I'm gonna tell you right now, what anyway. killed me about this movie was if if she wasn't gonna be in Psycho, she was definitely gonna be in Orange the New Black because she was going to jail. <laughs> she <laughs> was know, going to jail. You know whose mom that is, right? Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I don't. I think I think I know who it is. Uh, the famous actress, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm, if it is what I think it is, I'm just tired. Of, she's everywhere. I'm tired. She disappeared for years. Now she's back. I'm tired of her being, being like always being talked about. I'm, I'm getting, I'm annoyed. You don't like Jamie? I liked Jamie Lee Curtis years ago, mm-hmm. and then she had this weird resurgence where she's back. It's just like I told you. It's a popularity thing. Like is every time you look up, she's in. Like, huh, 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 do you know her dad? Huh? Do you know her dad? Uh, uh, Alfred Hitchcock. Tony Curtis. I like the singer? I, Tony Curtis the singer? No. Hey, hold on. Really Tony. That's Tony Bennett. See? Right? Yeah, I'm thinking Tony Bennett in my Tony head. Curtis. Am I saying that right? <laughs> Wait a minute, you got me thinking. He was in the movie with uh, he's a famous actor. Um that means, hey, he was in Some Like a Hot, the movie with um He's born Bernard Schwartz. Um, so I'm locking hot with uh, Jack Lennon and uh, Marilyn Monroe, and then he's with. I've never uh, seen it. It's interesting, and um, a movie with um Sydney Portier that was really good. Did he call me N word? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like how you thought about it. You're like, ah. I haven't seen that movie in a while. They're fugitives and they're um handcuffed together. Oh, I kind of remember. See, okay. Yeah, but he's in a. Sorry, this went off on a tangent, but he's he's in a lot of movies. What are we? Look, this ain't got nothing to do. Sorry, with, I what? told you. Sorry. You I'm pick not... it up. Where are we at? Where are we at? She was going to have dinner. Yeah. And I couldn't he, understand saying why she's having dinner. I couldn't understand why she's having dinner. Yeah. And, and you said that no matter what, she was going to jail in oh, whatever yeah. era. Yeah. Of course. And um. That's when we hear him yelling, the mommy yelling, like, oh, I don't want that girl around here. Then, yeah. then she really, went off. And when I was laughing, because at first, I thought it was him doing the voice, and I realized, like, no, that's really a woman's voice. Mm-hmm. I wonder whose voice that was, but... I'm, I'm sure it says it. I'm, I'm... Somewhere. That is definitely... She was going off. I'm like, it's not that serious. Okay, if supposedly there was Virginia, Virginia Gregg, Paul... Jasmine and Jeanette Paul Jasmine what the freak? Paul Jasmine and Janet Nolan make uncredited appearances as the voice of Norman Bates mom. Three voices were used interchangeably except for the last speech, which was Virginia Gregg. 
Jasmine Jen and Nolan's name sound familiar. I don't know why. Um, she was in the movie the Vir- she was in the TV show The Virginian, Dirty Sally, and Macbeth with Orson Welles. I like Orson Welles. He's he was a little strange, but oh my goodness. Um. So yeah, so the mom, so the so, so the mom does that, you know. I don't like her, mother. You don't understand. So he comes down. I want to know what that meal was. I, before that, I, why was she talking so loud? Like they were all the they way were at the up house. The stairs at the house. It was literally like it was a megaphone. Like let me tell you about right. It was like she was screaming out the window. There's no way that Marion should have heard what they were saying. Both of them were saying. Was that a stage? Probably. Because they kept like, hey. The Which way, one, the hotel the, or the, the house? The house. Because the, the clouds went, the way the clouds went by and everything. I was like, is that mm-hmm. a stage? Probably. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, There's a behind the scenes thing on it, but I, yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, I watch it. Uh, but, but, you know, he comes back with the food and it's like a big piece of bread and she was. He said it was sandwiches. But. Yeah, but she remember she put a she she had it. She had like a spread. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I was like, is it butter? Is it is it spam? What Probably is it? mayonnaise, huh? Probably mayonnaise. Just, you just have a, you have an open face mayonnaise sandwich. I'm sure she put something on it. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't in the plate like that. I, uh, when it comes to movies, these plates be looking amazing sometimes, and sometimes they look like, "What is that? Did he? He didn't even, like. He can't cook, so he made a sandwich. But the sandwich don't even look good. He can't do nothing. He should have Uber eats." <laughs> Moving on, the conversation in the office was weird. Oh yeah, because he's like, "Don't you feel trapped? I feel trapped and all this other stuff." And then when he said, "Um, uh, a boy's mother is her is their best friend or whatever," he said that creeped me. Out. And when he said that, I was like, "You need more friends. <laughs> you need friends. He he ain't got." None. And and it, 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 what was interesting was him talking him talking to her. Made her decide to go back. Yeah, that was because hmm, it was like, weird. "Hey, stupid! What was you gonna do with that money? Run off to your man and be like, hey, I stole this money. We could be together.'" And I don't know where she was. Was she going? I can't remember. I she was, was she going, going to see him? Yeah, she was going because I think when well, she came from California to Arizona. No, I she think. went no reverse. She went from Arizona. she was in Phoenix. Remember? Yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah, she yeah. was going there. Yeah, because I don't know where where was Sam. Yes, wait, who's wait? Which one? Sam is her boyfriend. Yeah, because like, remember she said she was like ten or fifteen miles out, fifteen miles away. She was fifteen miles away, and the diner was like ten minutes away. Mm-hmm. Now, look, forgive Should've us. Should have went we go, to the diner. We, it's more fun to go off of memory than try to do all this technical stuff. Yet, you know, when I when I'm when I get make the big time. And I can put like a desktop computer there and have you man it. And you're just like, technically, we'll do that. We ain't there yet. We local. <laughs> but uh, you looking it up? No. Oh. Um, dang, I forgot. I'm glad I'm going to shrink this down. Uh, when... When she decided to go back, I was like, oh, like, like okay. Mm-hmm. And then when she was, she, she showed off herself in a bra again. I was like, come on, man. And we saw Norman looking from the, the hey, people. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, you sicko. He, he was like, he was literally like this. He was like, mm-hmm. and I'm like, what is going on, man? Like, and, I, hey, that shower scene, that was some great acting. Cause she was just like, <gasps> yeah. and I think they had to do a, a lot of time, a lot of takes. She was smiling so she was smiling so hard. I was laughing. I was like, nobody smiles this hard in the shower. Hey, depending on you know. And then that was like, that's a nice shower to be in. And then and then when he showed up, I was like, I want to be in that shower. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is she didn't hear. Him? Shower Coming loud. In. Those back those well, 1960s yeah. showers. You know, shower, you know, like two decibels when it went off. 
That cutting was hilarious. Because it looked like it was missing or two at the same time, the different yeah. angles. But I was shocked. I was, I was, oh, and I like how she cut up. She wrote a piece of paper talking about how much she owed. Yeah, I wouldn't up. have done none of that. I wouldn't have cared. Yeah, you wouldn't have cared. You would have kept the money and kept going? I think I would have gave it back, but I wouldn't have cared what I used. Which, I mean, she only used, what, $700 and then whatever she paid Man, for the hotel? Man, she like a thousand. Yeah, what? She had seven hundred dollars. How's she gonna use a thousand? No, I'm saying, okay, it was okay. She used seven hundred dollars, right? Yeah. And then you gotta think about gas. You telling me she drove from there to where she drove? Well, gas she didn't was get cheap. Gas or she didn't get food. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So <sighs> he kills her. Yeah. The mama kills him. Kills her. Yeah. And Norman gets an argument with his mom, or whatever. He's like, Mom, what'd you do? Or something like that. And then he, the he, way he came in there. I'm sorry. Why is that funny to you? His reaction when he was like, it's like And then when they spent the next 20 minutes showing you clean up, you clean up, I was yeah. shocked. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like five minutes. No, they stayed with him for like 20 minutes. Well, he had to be thorough. I mean, they didn't have like DNA back then, but he still had to be thorough, which he kind of really was. I. And then he wrapped, he wrapped her in the. like the shower so, What killed me was this when he had the mop and he, was just, uh, like, he didn't mm-hmm. have no soap, he didn't have no detergent. He had water and a mop bucket. Yeah. You don't find that suspicious? You do not find that suspicious. <laughs> you know what that means? That's a dirty ass motel. Yeah. That means I mean, it looks dirty. He just exchanged the sheets and he just wiped stuff down with water. Yeah. So, you know, he get he gets rid of her, gets rid of the money. Mm-hmm. Which and what did he do with the money? Didn't he put it in the in the trunk? Didn't even realize the money was in there. No, he didn't go through her things, which I don't know if I would. Which kind of made it perfect because it made it like you ain't even thinking about it no more. When you think about you mad, like like get the money. Mm-hmm. So um, gets rid of the car. I thought put the car- that in the lake. I was mad. I thought the means. swamp. I thought the the, swamp. I thought the car was gonna get stuck. I was hoping. I was like, it stuck. almost did. Remember, he was eating them jelly beans or whatever. And he stopped, and it kind of like sat there for a second. And then, I'm like, how deep is it, swamp? It. That's a good question. Like, could it could it cover it up? I don't know. Cause you know, cars back then were a lot like bulkier and seemed like taller. I'm pretty sure somebody broke this down ridiculously and was like, well, technically the car would have to do this. And then, you know, you think Norman was going to go on with his life. You think he (laughs) thought he was going to go on with his life. But Marion's sister pops up Mm -hmm. at Sam's job asking where her sister is. Yeah, she hadn't heard from her. What killed me was, I feel like- I hope you do that for me. I feel like the private investigator- Arbogas. Amadeus. (laughs) Arbogast. <laughs> I want to. Do you know where that name came from? I was like, is that, I, I want to know the nationality of that name. Mm-hmm. That name was wild. But anyway, he's the possible. I'm a private detective. You're like, dang, you didn't keep me private. You told the public. Well, he had to get answers. And he's like, he's there knocking on doors and doors and doors. And, and he was like, I'm going to figure out some stuff. Y'all st- sit tight. Mm-hmm. And he knocks on these doors. He goes to the base motel. He's like, you ever seen this girl? He's like, nah. And then he's like, can I check your books? Why won't you scratch your name out of the book? Why won't you tear the page out or get another book? And then the dude, the dude, such a good, he's such a good private detective. He's like, oh, I have hand, I have a handwriting analysis. What's it? Piece of paper. Yeah. Oh, right there. Yep, this is her. This is her handwriting. Well, what's like, her handwriting? You can see. Like I could tell your handwriting because you writing carpet. Look. 
No, I can tell my hand right. I can. Anyway, I'm sorry, writing in print. I don't think I've ever <laughs> seen writing in print. Right. So anyway, and then he asked us several questions. Like, nobody's been here for weeks. And then what tripped him up before the book thing was he was like, they were talking about different things. He was like, yeah, sometimes I forget to put the vacancy light on. Last week, a couple didn't realize. And he yeah. was like, you see that? Talking too much. He's like, you see that right there? People forget, forget mm-hmm. stuff. And he was like, is this you and your mom here? I live alone. I'm like, but your mom here? Cause somebody talk. Oh yeah, yeah, she's there, but she's an invalid. Talking about how she's yeah. basically not, not mentally there. Norman had no po- poker face at all. You could read him because he started stuttering. Uh, 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 can I see your mom? No. Can I see your mom? No. Can I see your mom? You gotta like, get. I need a warrant, don't I? Yep. Every time he said no, so he's like, I need a warrant. He's like, yeah. And when he called back to Sam and and and. Marion's sister and told him all the stuff. I'm thinking like, shouldn't you tell the authorities? Shouldn't you call call? I don't uh, know because she was wasn't she one, the one that hired him? Like, do private investigators report to police or do they report to the people that hired them? I don't know. That's a good question. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. 1960. I'm just talking about in general. I'm talking about. 1960. Well, yeah, I mean, now. If, if it's a crime being committed, yeah, you you got a call. But anyway, he sneaks up to Norman's mama house, mm-hmm. and after he yeah. talked to uh, Marion's sister and saying, "Talking about, I'm gonna figure out some more things. Something's off here." Mm-hmm. He gets up there, and gets stabbed. I was like, I love the camera angle of him like going up the steps. I thought you meant backwards. Going up the steps, and then when he fell backwards, that was a long fall, though. Shout out to Marion because she got stabbed seven times. He got stabbed once and he, he got taken out. He <laughs> well, like, he fell down the steps. Like, I'm like, dude, you got stabbed once? Man up. And then Sam was like, I'm going to go check it out. Mm-hmm. And then, and then, but no, remember, remember they went to go. He went over there. Alba Gas. Abercrombie and Fitch. Abercrombie and Fitch. Amadeus. <coughs> Amadillo. Are you done? Good, uh, man. So anyway, um, and then he goes, drives back, and he's like, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and then she was like, they're like, let's go talk to the sheriff. That sheriff did not give a damn. Mm-hmm. He was mm-hmm. listening, he was like, sound like she's just missed a person with your money, and mm-hmm. it is what it is, and Norman, Ma- Norman Bates ain't got no mama alive. Yeah, when that re- Cause the sister was like, "Yeah, it's some something about the mother was brought up." But then the way that that was revealed that his mother has been dead for the last ten years <laughs> was great. I love the the camera work. And we said the camera work. What? I love the camera work and the dialogue in that scene. What 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 you like about it? Like what? Like go more in depth with it. Like how it was revealed that she was dead. What? <laughs> yeah, like we kind of fast forwarded it a little bit. But, not not but too yeah. much. Um, but the idea that they had to break the case because nobody, everybody else kept messing up mm. was cool. Um, that that fight scene was hilarious between oh. Norman and Sam. Yeah, Sam will mop him. I, at no point did I think that Sam was going to win a fair fight. You mean Norman? Let me sorry. Yeah, that Norman was. I, there, there's no point where I thought Norman was going to win, win a fair fight. And no, and I think Sam was like, I got him. He got hit in the head. Just, yeah. I was like, man, get out of here. And that, yeah. And I was shocked. Like, all that taxidermy, he could have taxidermy his mom. <laughs> oh, I heard looking like the creep, keep, creep Keeper. You fast forward. You said the reveal. You said the reveal. No, that that she wasn't alive. Remember they was talking to the sheriff. Oh, I got confused. I thought yeah. you meant you said turn around. You said turn. You said turn around. You was like when she turned around. You said it. Yeah, you did. You like you like the reveal. Oh, reveal. Reveal of her being dead. Not. No. Yeah, what? not the end. That's but, what I thought you meant. Yeah. Okay, look, we gonna we gonna edit that part out. So, 
say, okay, let's let's jump back. You said you like the camera angle. Mm-hmm. And then you said, go back to what you're saying about the, the reveal. I like the dialogue of when the sheriff was telling her sister and Sam that Norman had no mother and she was dead. Yeah, that that was that was crazy because the only th- red flags it raised was for them to be like Apple 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 said it, and it was like, well, Apple Cooper go wrong. Yeah, so at first it was like, oh, Norman's taking up a wife, and then they were like, no. Yeah, they was like abstract, don't know what he's talking about. And then they was like, no, because it was an older lady, and it was like, no, his mother's been dead for I think they said ten years. And they, she helped pick. She helped pick out the. Uh, mm-hmm. And then, yeah, but then yeah, but that goes back to me talking about they went back. They went back and tried to figure it out themselves because everybody else didn't figure it out. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like we're it's like we're jumping forward, jumping back, jumping forward, jumping back, or back forth, back forth. Um, Norman's an idiot. He should he should have packed it up and got got out. But he's not all there, so he yeah. thought I just keep killing He thought he was people. gonna get away with it. And I wonder how many missing women that gone missing. Remember, dude was like, "How many people missing? Two? Yeah. Um, there was actually a show on A and E called Bates Motel, and it would follow him when he was younger. It was good. Hmm. It's funny because like we like you talk about how we was jumping back and forth, but we were talking about the fight and beating up, and that was well after the fact. Yeah. And they don't talk it. So let's get let's get down to it. When they reveal that the mother was the actual reveal when the mother was dead. Mm-hmm. In the cellar and she was a, a skeleton. I laughed so hard when I saw Norman. I laughed so hard. When he came in there with that wig. Yeah. <laughs> it's deep. <sighs> Yeah, I laughed that hard too. Yes, Sam. Sam. I keep on saying Steve. It's Sam. Yeah, that's why you keep laughing. You got to step away from the mic because it was so like, because uh, he got grabbed by a grown man and he just fell out. Like the way oh. the way he fell out was yeah. <laughs> I was his body just went limp. Yeah, I was. He just like, <sighs> and and that that monologue at the end by the detective breaking it down. Mm-hmm. That was interesting. Yeah, because I was like, I, I was quiet. Like I recorded myself watching it, and I was just quiet. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, what was there to say? It's just like, wow. And then the last shot of Norman, but the mother, yeah, the mother was, side like, was talking. To you, to the him. mother was like, "I had to get you arrested." Mm-hmm. Well, they'll know I'll be fine. I want to harm a fly. It was like you in the same uh, B. You in the same body. It's over. They ain't going to let you out let him in. Yeah, the ending was amazing. I, I yeah, I need to, I need to watch what what made his think of like what made him think it is. I do need to I think after I watch all the Alfred Hitchcock movies and then mm-hmm. I'll go one by one watch the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the next Alfred Hitchcock movie I want you to watch. We look. We gotta get through the regular. Wait, look. We gotta get through the that, regular. That's list. the end of the list. I mean, all you got left is a streetcar named Desire. You had like ten things on there. I didn't watch all of that. I told you to take off Mil- Mildred Pierce. There's got to be more than she. Wait, wait, no, no. Um, Redwood calls on the waterfront. Imitation of life. Psycho. Uh huh. Because you told me five. Stop. I think. I thought it was ten, but whatever. But okay, I'm Cincinnati man. We done with this. This was movie was good. You know, I'm not a fan of all the nudity. There was no nudity. They showed a. I promise. When she put a robe on, they showed a half a second or something. Shame on them. It, the only reason it's funny. Me and Bad Happens always get these arguments about movies. Like, he like, oh, there's too much in it. I'm just saying for the period that it was in, I was shocked for what it was in. Like. Now it's different than 1960. Mm. I am outraged. And I think that was the first time a toilet was flushed on film. It ain't no way. And that was a weak toilet, too. It must, <laughs> it must, have, been a, it must have been an environmental toilet. Oh, God. The, wa- the water was strong. The toilet was weak. <laughs> my sister, name, man. My sister, y'all have a good one. Yep.
And you get the yeah, you get the camera and everything. It starts shaking. Right. It's like, dang. Earthquake. And them cookies. Uh, okay, let me save it right now.